Who jambo mama wanjiru? Si jambo mama tieno. Tell me, how was your doctor's appointment? It was fine, but the doctor spent most of the time talking to my daughter about me, as if I wasn't there. I think he assumed people my age can't take in information or make decisions. I know what you mean. At work the other day, I made a suggestion. Someone told me I was out of touch. It made me feel as if my ideas are less valuable because of my age. I've noticed this attitude for years, but it feels like it is getting worse as I get older. You just look. Isn't it ageism? Yes. I've been reading a lot about ageism lately. It's about our systems in society and how ageism is deeply rooted in them. It's called systemic ageism. I like to think about a lily growing in a pond to understand how it works. Imagine that the flowers are the ageism we experience every day. They are connected to the stems in the water, which represent our ageist thoughts and feelings. And the flowers on the stems feed from the roots, which represent our beliefs and values. So, the flower is the part we see in society, things that influence our thinking without even knowing, like when the media makes out that everyone becomes unproductive and vulnerable as we age. Exactly. But it goes much deeper. Our experiences are shaped by what happens below the surface. Take stereotyping, for example. The idea that everyone will become frail and weak as we age makes people afraid of getting older. Then underneath all of that, in the soil, are the values and beliefs we hold, such as the belief that we are less important when we are older. These inform our thoughts and feelings, which results in the visible ageism we see every day. But I found a story that shows how fighting against this can make a difference. Look, the Philippines government brought in ageist lockdown measures to try and control the spread of COVID-19. Older people were not allowed out and many said they were denied access to health services. Some stores even had signs saying, no older people. That's awful. Yes, the Coalition of Services of the Elderly launched a campaign to stop these discriminatory measures. They talked to the government and the public to understand the ageist beliefs that led to these measures. And they organized activities to challenge these beliefs and inform politicians, older people and their communities about ageism. In the end, the government revised guidelines that older people cannot be discriminated against. That's what we need more of, to name and challenge ageism and then explore where it comes from. Exactly. Why don't you come and join us, huh? You can be part of the change. <laughs>